I'm doing. I just got out the shower and I washed my hair. I wash my hair with these two products and I'll put them down below the name of all the products I'm using today. So I washed it with this shampoo and used this conditioner. And I didn't towel dry my hair, just kind of squeeze the water out. That's why you see it dripping everywhere. And now it's time to style it. I'm trying a new method. I usually just put product in my hair and go. But this time, I'm going to try something different. And I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I'm going to start off, I believe, with this. Lot of body. Longer. I'm not, I, I use like three pumps that size. And I just put it all over my hair in any kind of way. I take these clips. Okay. I'm going to use this end of the comb to kind of make a part so that the sides are kind of going to the back. And I'm going to use this clip to separate the part that I want to style first, which is the middle. And I'm not real good at doing hair. That's why I like curly hair because you really don't have to do too much with it. Okay, so now that I got that like that, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to take this clip, hopefully... Hopefully I measured that right. If not, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just separating that part for now. I'm going to take what I'm styling my hair with, which is the Miss Jessie Pillow Soft Curls. About that much for the middle. And I don't know which one I want to use. I'm going to use this Lotta Body Elongate Me Curl Stretcher. And I'm going to mix the two products together. This is kind of thick real well. And I'm only going to use a little bit of that. See? The yellow part is the lot of body. And the white part is Pillow Soft Miss Jessie. And I'm just going to put it in the top part of my hair like that. No special way. Get my damn brush. And see how this goes. And just comb it through. I never use this unless I'm washing my hair. I did that. I'm going to take, remove these clips and take the pillow soft curls again. About that much for the back and the middle. Take some of that again, just a drop, like that much. And now style this side. So now I'm going to take this dimming brush again and kind of brush this to the back like that. Life. Mm. And I'm just scrunching the ends. Okay. See? The good thing about curly hair, you could play in products. Brush it to the back like that. Right, this is looking kind of weird right now. So now I'm just going to kind of like... Run my hands through my hair while it's still wet and while the product is in there to kind of um, style it so it's not such a defined part. I'm just going to see how I'm running my fingers through it. I'm going to see what will happen if I do this with the comb. Like if it will make it come to the front a little more. Sometimes you have to go through on some of the spots and recurl it with your fingers. I've never done that before, but now that I feel like since I've been wearing my hair in braids, my hair is not used to curling up anymore. So I kind of have to 
train it again and make it curl the way I want it to curl. So I'm just going and finding spots that look like I need to recoil with my finger and just twisting it like that. Again, I have never in my life done this method before. I'm usually just a real quick apply the product with no dimming brush, no comb, and just go. And this shouldn't take too much time because I'm not doing all of it. It's just spots where I feel like my hair is not curling the way I want it to curl. Thought I was going to have more to say on this video. You know what? I'm slouching. Doesn't matter. Okay, so this is almost the finished look. What I'm going to do now is take the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel and apply that to my edges. And I'm just going to put my finger in and grab something like that and just put a little right there to lay those sides down and then take about the same amount and put it right there to lay that side and I'm gonna take this comb and just kind of make it look like it's a uh, some kind of design in there I'm not good with edges at all I'm not good with combing hair at all. That's <clears throat> so that's it. And then what I like to use for my edges is this, which doesn't look that great. Got hair all in it, but it's this manicure brush. And you can get at Sally's or different hair stores for like 39 cents, something like that. I just dip it in the gel and then just brush my edges into a little swoop. Kind of took a little more hair than I wanted, but I'll still make it work. So, this, you guys, I think it's going to be the finished look because I don't really want to plan my hair anymore. Or I don't want to make my videos longer than five minutes. What do you guys think? Oh, look at that gray hair. <laughs> And if you're wondering why my hair is black now, it's because I love the brown color. It's a long story. I could post that video if you want to know. I went and did a bunch of stuff this summer. Besides braids, I dyed it with peroxide. And then um, I dyed it back black with a box hair dye, which I usually don't like to use. But coronavirus got us all tripping. And um, this is the end result of my hair with this new method that I just tried today and so what do you guys think this is the finished results I wish I would have recorded with the light like this I'm sorry it's brighter now but so if you haven't subscribed yet right now is the time to subscribe and if you have any tips leave them down below if you like the hairstyle thumbs up if you don't like, don't thumbs down but write in the comments below hmm. i'll be back once it dry let you see the end results bye for now so my hair is probably 90 percent dry Wait, I the knife but it's my time and and i really at... don't want to stay up any longer I...